Okay, um, today we're going to run through how to do a really basic um, drawing in Inventor, which you should be able to do off different tutorial to learn from, and then how to expect, uh, export a face to a DXF file so that we can send it to a laser cutter um, to cut out the components um, for a lamp or a particular project. So the very first thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to create a new sketch. So up here in the Create Sketch button, um, and I'm going to draw it on the top, which is this one here. It lines up with the top of the cube. Jump on that one there. So it should read top. Okay, I'm going to go do a two-point rectangle. This button up here. I'm going to make like a small key tag kind of shape. Thing. So I'm going to go like 25 millimeters tab, so maybe 85, 75. That looks right. So when you do a two-point triangle, a two-point triangle, two-point square, you can hit the tab key to actually alternate between those different dimensions. Okay, so we hit enter um, to lock that in place at 25 by 75 millimeters, and I now need to give that some thickness so that we know what we're actually trying to make here. So I'm going to hit the Q key, do a press pull, click on that shape, and I'm going to bring it up 3 mil. Type 3, hit enter, like so. Um, and I'm also going to round those corners off. So a couple of ways I can do that. I can hit F for fillet, um, but Fusion also has this search command, kind of like Spotlight built into the software. So if I hit S, I can type fillet in as well. Make sure that you go the 3D fillet, not the 2D fillet. So 3D fillet, click these corners. Give them a radius of 15 millimeters. Ten millimeters, sorry. Fifteen wouldn't have worked because it would have been too big. Ten millimeters, okay. And now I'm just gonna put a hole. A hole in this guy as well. So to do that, I'm gonna go I'm gonna right click on this top face, create a sketch. Um, do a circle, it's going to pop this anywhere, 6mm, that's fine, enter, once again hit Q, I can grab him, and no, no, I can just pull him the whole way through, like so. So I've got a little tag, something that I want to cut in the laser cutter. So now I need to turn this into a 2D um, DXF file that the laser cutter and the software will read. So to do that, I actually go up here onto create a sketch and click on the face that I want to cut out, which is this one here. And now what I need to do is I need to project that geometry through. So to do that, I hit P for project, click on that face, and hit OK. And as you can see, it's actually, with these black lines, it's actually pulled all these outlines through, which is what I want. So I'm working on sketch three. I know that because of this light bulb here. Just to double check, I can turn the light bulb on and off, and that'll turn that sketch on and off. So I want to actually export that sketch 3 to a DXF file. So to, to do that, all I need to do is right-click sketch 3 and click on Save as DXF. Then all I'm going to do is select my USB drive here and save it as um, a file that I'm going to know what it is. So I'm going to go host key tag. Hit Save. And that's all there is to it. Now we have a DXF file that can be read by the laser cutter so that um, we can keep, uh, so that we can cut that particular file out on the laser cutter. Thank you.